What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about the RSI bull bear with detailed push bullet notification. So I haven't made a video in over a week, and I know in internet time that's like forever, but the reason why is because I'm trying to make Gecko work the way I want to, and obviously Gecko works out of box, but there's just little things that it just doesn't work that well, and this is one of them. So I want to talk about it. I'm going to show you what this is about. So the RSI bull bear strategy, for people that don't know, it is a strategy created by Tommy Hansen. And the general idea, as he said in the intro paragraph in the Gecko forum right here, is that RSI between A and B works best in trend C, but works less great in trend D. So use that knowledge to do A when B and C when D. So essentially, that's what the strategy does, right? So he has it set up where he has two trend line, the, the fast SMA right here, the green line, and the slow SMA, which is the orange line right here. When the fast SMA is below the slow SMA, this is the bear trend, as you can obviously see right here how much the price has been falling. So this is considered a bear trend. And then everything over here is the bull trend. Everything above the orange line is considered a bull trend. And you can see the price is moving upwards. So very simple to see and understand visually speaking. I only have one RSI listed here, but you can have multiple. Yeah, you can have two RSIs. When it was in a bear trend, you can have a RSI that follows certain um, range. Let's say you want to buy only when it's at 20 or 25, and then will sell at, at a much lower, perhaps like 50 or 40. And then in the bull trend, you'll want to buy at a different level. So let's say like, you know, 40 or 50 and you want to sell at like to 80 or 90 even in this case they're close to 80 so that's great and all but when you turn on the email notification let's say you you know want to you won't be sitting at your computer all day you actually want to go out or you're working and you're out and you just want to get notified on when the bot makes a trade so that you know that the bot's really working and hopefully the bot is making good trades right so you set the email notification and this is what you would get something similar to what you would normally see when you get email notification so you say, new advice, go long, and as that's Gecko is watching, whatever exchange you're using, and has detected a new trend, advice is to go long. And they tell you the current, whatever cryptocurrency you're trading at, and the price compared to your fiat currency that you're using. And that's it. So there's no additional information on why the bot is doing what. So is the bot trading during a bull trend? Is it trading in the bear trend? No idea, you do not know. <laughs> And then when you look at the sell email, it's exactly as the same, basically, right? So you got an email earlier and say, oh, bought at 6200 and now selling at 61 something. You're like, oh, what the? It's sold at a loss. That's That sucks. Why did it do that? You know, so that's one of the first things that you would want to know, right? And that's one of the first things I want to know. It's like when I see that happening, I'm like, okay, I need to make sure the bot is working properly. I mean... It probably should be working properly, but then you know you have these little worries. I mean, I have these little worries that maybe the bot isn't working properly. I would then have to go back into trading view either at that time if I'm out. Then I have to come back in later in the day and go and back test this and actually like manually check. Oh, is the bot really buying at that point in time uh, during the bear trend? And is it really selling in the bull trend? Perhaps it could be doing those things, and you know it could be, and then it could actually turn out that it's actually doing it correctly. And it's just that the strategy itself, it's probably we're using, I'm using bad parameters perhaps, so then that's the reason why. But it still sucks that you just don't know what the bot is doing. I mean, like, I mean, you know that it's buying and selling, but you don't know what it's thinking. Part of the problem is the strategy itself because it's tra it changes based on the trend. So once it's a bear trend, it uses a certain type of strategy. When it's in a bold trend, it uses another type of strategy. It's basically, it's two strategies in one. It's not like a basic strategy where like you're just using the RSI and you're saying, okay, if the RSI is below 30, you buy. If it's above 70, you sell. That kind of thing. So that you know that when it's buying, it's obviously because the RSI is below 30. And it's, when it's selling, it's, uh, the, the RSI is above 70. Very simple, one indicator strategy that it uses. So there's no trend changing. So you know all, right off the bat why the buy is doing what. But that's not the case with the RSI bull bear strategy. And you really need to know all that other information, like what trend is it in, what RSI is in, what, what RSI, what is the RSI bought at, all that information. I think that's very valuable. But you're not provided that in the emails. 
and not just the emails. Basically, the emails they provide the most information. If you try the other、um, the other plugins that Gecko have, like Twitter, like Pushbullet, all these other plugins, they will actually provide less information than the email does. So if you look at the Gecko architecture, this is how Gecko works. So basically, there's two components: there's Gecko Stream and there's the real time market bug box. Bug box is the one that actually gathers all the information from the exchange and creates the candles that's needed for the Gecko Stream part to actually process the candles and actually determine when to make trades. Whether you have a real trade or a paper trader, it actually make the trades that you have your strategy set up to do. But you see it right here, the trading advisor, which incorporates the strategy that you have. So your strategy is some, somewhere inside the trading advisor. It also sends out information to other plugin. So the other plugin here, the other plugin A, this is where Twitter, email, Telegram, IRC, Slack, and Pushbullet. All these plugins are right over here. So they receive. All the same information that a the real pay, trader or paper trader does. That's really just whether or not the bot is going long or going short. That's it. I mean, you can literally see it in the Mailer plugin. So if you go into the Gecko slash plugin section and you open up Mailer.js and you go down to the process advice function right here, you see that it'll process every advice and it'll just populate. Uh, based on the advice that recommendation, if it's go long, so just put it here. It's the advice is to go, and then the advice that recommendation is long. So that's what it is. So this whole part, this fills out the body of the email, and this fills out the subject of the email. And I showed you in the previous video that you can modify this process that advice to add information like round trip, so you know exactly how much. The bot is making whether or not you actually have a winning trade or losing trade. In here, you actually have to go look at your previous email. So you have a go long email in here. Maybe if you deleted this email, you wouldn't even be able to confirm whether or not the bot is making money. You wouldn't probably remember what price it bought at. So that's why it's even less useful. So like if you keep the two emails, great, then you will be able to determine whether or not the bot is making money or not. But still, it would be nice to have all that one email. And that's why I showed you guys in the previous video on how to do that in the Mailer.js plugin. I modified the function so that it processes the body of the email separately for whether it's a long or a short. So if it's if the advice is to go long, it'll have this information in here. If it's advice is to go short, it'll have this information, which is more detailed because at this point is processing the round trip information. So it's telling you the trade resulted in a profit or loss of x amount of percent. So it tells you. The price of the buy and sell, and tells you the、um, the percentage gain. So there's a lot more information just by modifying Mailer.js plugin. But now I was thinking of someone like thinking, is it possible for the strategy to send more than a long and a short? For example, like can we set the buy stop recommendation to let's say stop loss? For example, if if your strategy has a stop loss in it, so that it would say okay. It, so then the mailer or whatever plugin you're using will get advice that recommendation equal to stop loss, and it will provide that additional information, letting you know that it wasn't a buy, it wasn't a sell, it was a stop loss that caused the trade to happen. So I actually did do that, and you know what? It does work. So basically, you can have your strategy provide any sort of recommendation, and the mailer will just receive it, and it is up to you whether or not. You want to modify the mailer or whatever plugin you're using to actually process that advice. So, and that's exactly what I did here with the RSI bull bear. So that now instead of having instead of just the RSI bull bear telling you whether or not it's going long or going short, it's gonna tell you it's selling during the bear trend, it's buying during the bear trend, or is it selling during the bull trend, or is it buying during the bull trend. So now there's four different messages it sends out. But does this break the trading process? The Actual、um, paper trader or the live gecko trader, it would if you actually just add this advice and that's it, and you replace it. But what happened is with this particular strategy, it already have the this dot short where in the separate section that Tommy Hansen wrote here on the long and the short section of the functions, it will actually send out the advice short. It will actually send out the advice long. So. Basically, we're keeping those advices in the strategy here, so it will still it will still send out those advice in addition to sending out these additional advice messages. The live trader and the paper trader just ignores these other additional messages I'm sending. 
So all these are the messages I'm sending, buying during bull trend, selling during bull trend. The paper trader or the live trader, it just ignores it completely. It doesn't care. It doesn't because because that it has no function to process these particular devices. But the mailer plugin will have that. Well, in this case, I didn't use the mailer plugin. I actually modified the push bullet plugin. And for people that don't know what push bullet is, it is really just a way for you to push messages across to all your devices simultaneously. So the best part about it is, is first of all, it's free. And the second thing is an API that Gecko can use. And what it is is you can then have Gecko send these messages out to your phone, your tablet, your computer, whatever device you're using. So you get these little messages letting you know what Gecko is doing. And my personal reason why I switched over from email to push bullet is that I don't have to delete a push bullet message like I do with email. So I just leave it going and that's it. I don't have to delete any messages from push bullet. I don't have to clean up my email box like I did when I was getting a bunch of emails from Gecko. So going back to the code here, in the push bullet plugin, I modified the push bullet plugin to actually process each of these recommendations. So selling during bull trend, when it sees that recommendation, it'll put in a particular text message in here with all the information that you need to understand. So like the fast SMA is in there, the short SMA is there, the RSI is there. So it'll tell you whether or not it's in the bear bull trend just by looking at the recommendations. It'll put that information in the title of the message and you'll have the body telling you all the detailed information. One thing that I had issue with, and I'm not, I'm not a JavaScript programmer by trade, I came from the iOS side of things, I noticed that there's really no way for me to store that information, let's say the indicator information, SMA long, SMA short, the RSI, that I get from my strategy and actually send it out to the plugin. This is no way to do it. So I, there's no way for the plugin file to actually access it. So what I ended up doing is actually modifying the config file and I actually created a section called temporary storage. And here I can store all the indicator values that I would want to use. I mean, some of them I don't even use in this particular strategy here. But in here I have RSI, I have SMA long, SMA short, buy price and current price. So I have all these, inform all these variables that I can populate from the strategy. So the strategy itself will actually store this information. So actually we'll send it to store.currentprice. So actually save it into the config file and then the plugin, the push bullet plugin will actually pull up this information and be able to access it and be able to send it out in the message. So I'm, I'm not sure this is the best way to do it. I, honestly, I don't think it's the best way, but this is the only way I can figure out how to do it. And it works. That's all I have to say about that. So the end result is this. The default push bullet messages you get from Gecko is the exchange, the trade pair, and it's either going short or going long. But after all my modifications, it will tell you, again, the exchange, the trade pair, but it will tell you whether it's buying during a bull trend or selling during a bear trend. And it will tell you oh, what trend are we in, what's the fast SMA, what's the slow SMA. Based on the two SMAs, you know the slow SMA is below the fast SMA, so it's actually indicating a bull trend. So it tells you that you know exactly what's going on. Just looking at the email, you don't have to go back to TradingView to understand what's going on. And now it'll tell you the current RSI and it'll tell you what RSI setting you set in the config file. And that is actually below that RSI setting. So then that's the reason why it's buying. And then finally it'll tell you the buy price. So after all getting all this information, then you know on the sell, you get almost all the same exact information, except that in addition to that, you get the sell price. So you'll see whether you're making a gain or loss. In this case, it's a loss based on the strategy, but at least you know exactly why it's doing that. In this case, you can tell it's because it bought in a bull trend and it switched to a bear trend, and that's basically, it's just like a stop loss. That's basically the idea with this strategy. This, when it switches trend, it will get out very quickly, based on your parameters, obviously, but it will most likely get out quickly and prevent a more, a more serious loss. So in a sense, this strategy has a stop loss built in. People don't really understand that, but then you can see it by just looking at these two messages and understanding what's going on. And I found that really useful, and that's the reason why I have made this modification to the whole push bullet plugin. One other thing I modified that's pointed out in this GitHub here in the, is that I added a bot check-in so that after a certain amount of candles, in this case, it's 288 because I'm running on five minute candles. So 288 times five is equal to 24 hours. So after 24 hours, the strategy sends a plugin, a message saying, hey, send out this message to let the user know that you know the bot is still working because I want to know that the bot is still working. Because there are times for whatever reason, let's say that you know either your bot failed or um, 
gecko crashed or your computer uh, somehow crashed or the exchange you're using have some problem with the API. So many different issues that can cause the bot to stop working. It would be good to actually get that information sent out. But at this point, I don't know how to do that. All I do know is that I can send out a check-in email letting me know that the bot is still working. Like, but because it's sending out this email once a day, let me know that, hey, I'm still working, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. And that's one additional little feature that I added with this modification. So the bottom line is this. The RSI bull bear strategy is frustrating when it makes losing trades because you don't know which trend is buying and selling at. Gecko doesn't help as the plugins provide minimal information. The only way to understand what the strategy is doing is to modify the plugins to display what the indicator values are at the time of buy and sell. So hopefully you guys find this video useful and definitely check out the GitHub repo on how this works. I have the files needed in addition to the installation process. As I mentioned in the installation, when you're replacing the push bullet JavaScript file, it will probably break push bullet for other strategies. So you definitely want to have a backup or know that know that ahead of time so that you could replace it if you need to use other strategy with your bot. So anyway guys, that's my video for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Smash the like button for me. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. Peace out.